Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert, and this is Deagle. Hey, Deagle! That's his name. What are you up to, Deagle? Are you the good Deagle? Today we are making my favorite dessert of all time, homemade Oreos, otherwise known as Little Dora Cakes. So exciting! Aren't you excited, Deagle? Aren't you excited? Ah! Roll the intro already, please. I'm using Delmira Cooking's recipe and I'm so excited because homemade Oreos have always been my favorite thing. I've never known how to make them. I've always had to depend on like having an ex who had a mom who's like, do you want homemade Oreos? Like I've never had these for myself, but I want to do them special. I want to make them birthday homemade Oreos. This is no bake, no oven. Can you believe it? Ah! I'm gonna do it birthday. I'm gonna add like cute little sprinkles. So first thing we need is 14 Oreos and it's already open because I, I couldn't wait. Wait, you, you said it was open when we got it home. Because I opened it. <laughs> I called the store and told them about it. Are you serious, Karen? Yeah. Oh my they God. offered us free Oreos for life. Oh, in that case, we can all be a little Karen every once and again. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We need two more for a total of 14. These kind of like seem double stuffed. This is the birthday cake. It's definitely, I feel, double stuffed. Oh, are you gonna go get a thin one now? No, it'll be okay. Okay, so we're gonna take them apart. Oh, look how pretty it is. You can see all the sprinkles. The sprinkies. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put the cookie in here and the filling in here. Now we just have to do this 14 more times. Perfect. I really hope that I'm not like messing with something special, something great in making it birthday cake Dora cakes. I just can't believe how like easy and fun these are. And like, maybe these will be competitive homemade Oreos. You know what I mean? Like maybe these will be like better than the grandma. Meow. One time I went trick or treating in the summer. I was a dumb kid, okay? So I went trick or treating and this lady like opened her door and her house smelled so good. And I was like, trick or treat. And she was like, what? And I was like, oh, just kidding. Haha, <laughs> your house smells really good. And she was like, come, let me give you a homemade Oreo. And it was the best thing I've ever had in my whole life. Don't take homemade Oreos from strangers. I just did because I had a death wish. Turned out really well though. How are you, Deagle? Oh, Deagle's a little bit curious now to see what's going on. I wish that he could have like a bite, but he can't. He's what they call the poorest of dog. <laughs> Poorly dog. Oh my God, yeah, like the, the the birthday cake Oreo is like very pungent. Like you can smell. Oh! The sniffer's on the loose. Yeah, you can smell like the pungent sprinkles. Like the vanilla sprinkle. Oh, so good. Whoever made up the birthday cake flavor is a genius and I want to marry them. Wait. Brink. Now you take your blender, you put your Oreos in. Yahoo! And then we're gonna take milk. We're gonna have to eyeball it. Cause I need 80 milliliters, but I don't know what 80 milliliters is. Wait, you can use this one three times cause it's 30. And then one of them is five. So you can use that one twice. Ta -da! <gasps> oh, okay, wait, wait. So I use this twice? Three times. Three? Yeah. That's 90. Don't you need a hundred? I need 80. Oh, okay. So twice and then use the other one four times. You don't have to fill it up above the surface tension area. Sorry. I'll just maybe go with this one half. <laughs> okay, now we take an egg, which is actually Beagle's favorite food, and then we crack it. Put it in here. Kind of weird, especially because it's like no oven, no bake, and we're putting an egg in it, but I'm sure it'll work out for the best. And then we run it, and we make a lovely mixture. A mixture that would make Kartha Gewert Oh. Yep. Oh. <gasps> Goopy! Okay, and then I put it in here. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Chocolatey. Chocolatey goodness. All right, you got enough in there? Mm, I don't know. I was kind of hoping for like a lot more because what if it's not enough? I mean, it's the recipe. <laughs> I guess. Are you frustrated? You want to eat some? Me too. It's 
Smells really good. One teaspoon of baking powder. What are you, <laughs> stop. You can't chew that. That's the next step. He's trying to get ahead of you. Yeah, what the heck? He's giving away my next steps. I actually didn't have baking powder in the house. What kind of a woman am I? Oh, gosh. Kind of a Cartha are you? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Do you know Martha Stewart is 79 years old? Who's that? Oh, she's just this woman who pretends to be me sometimes, but she isn't. And then we take the whisk. Stir it in. Aren't you just excited? Oh, this is one of those moments where I wish that you guys had smell a vision. Absolutely. He does. Supoy, but it's supoy. Yeah. His nose is 40 times stronger than ours. Do you know that? So he is smelling what I'm doing right now in 3D. And that's why his frustration is so high because he just, he can't seem to get a taste. Okay, so now, very important step, something that I would usually skip. Wrap it with cling wrap. I love cling wrap. It's so convenient. It so we gotta let this stand for 10 minutes, but we have something really fun to do in the medium time. We're making our buttercream. Yeah. I've had these sprinkles sparkles for a really long time and I've wanted to use them so badly. This is one of the reasons why I made a birthday cake is because I want to put like different kinds of sprinkles in. Also, you're supposed to use buttercream here, but the problem with me is that icing sugar was sold out at my local grocery store. So I'm using Philadelphia whipped frosting. It has dairy in it, right? So it's kind of like a buttercream. Oh my goodness. Opening any container. Oh, so hard for me. Oh my gosh, that tastes like buttercream. Ooh, it's whipped and everything. Wait, how much are you supposed to put in? Two. Two what? Tablespoons. You just had a just giant chunk. Yeah, that's okay. Come you don't have up. to, you don't, no, you don't have to be extremely precise. You just have to have fun and make friends along the way. Okay, and then we take the whisk and we mix it up. Ooh, this frosting is a lot um, more pliable than I thought. Oh, <gasps> what a beautiful filling. Oh my goodness. How do you clean a whisk? I'm gonna whack it. Question to our lovely viewers. Is Deagle the cutest dog? Or is he just the cutest dog because he's my dog? Very important. Very important to know. I think he's the cutest thing. Oh, get, get away from here, you freak. <laughs> oh, oh, there's already like so, so many sprinkles in here. From the uh, birthday cake Oreo. I didn't know they went that hard with the sprinkles. Oh, look at that beautiful, stunning cream. Oh my goodness. I, for one, cannot wait. I cannot wait to be able to host a dinner party again. Because if I do, I've got a lot of food, a lot of art, a lot of wonderful things to think about, to cook, to serve. Anyways. And everybody can meet you. Look at these. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. Oh, I love them. Okay, I'm gonna add some greens too. Some of these like green little, these are what you get on top of a sugar cookie. I love them. I feel like they're such a nice touch. <gasps> Fun. Yeah. And of course, just like your run of the mill, regular sprinkle. Oh, she's shining bright now. As I knew she would. Has it been 10 minutes yet? 10 minutes of what? Of the um, batter sitting. Oh. Mm, this clip is five minutes. We'll be back. Has Intermission. It been 10 minutes oh, yet? Sorry. Ah! Has it been 10 minutes yet, puppy? It has? No, not till the timer goes. Okay. Stupid dog. He can't tell time yet. Well, you asked him. Oh, yeah. And you got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. He said he can't tell time yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he will be able to. He's very smart. Someone thought we got a new dog because Anjing's eyes changed from blue to brown. <laughs> Swapped him out? <laughs> yeah, just quickly switched him out. Oh, he's falling asleep. I should probably get the pan ready. Oh, now he's awake. Okay, now it is time to unwrap our lovely... Just get a knee holes out. Okay, and now it calls for a little spoon. I think a tablespoon. I don't think this is 
gonna be enough. Maybe I'll use this one. Just try the try that one and then just add more. If it's not okay. I try everybody. I try dog. This is fun because it's kind of like making pancakes. Okay, I'm just gonna get the excess off of this. Okay, I'm just pouring it in. And then essentially we're waiting for it to bubble. What a cute size. Then we wait for it to bubble. This is like making pancakes. You said that already. It's just so much easier than baking. <laughs> okay, so it has holes in all sides now. So I'm supposed to flip it for a minute. She done. Okay, now we gotta do this like a million more times. <laughs> Look how perfectly circular it is. Is it? Yeah. A lot longer than I thought because you have to like wait for the bubbles to come up and that takes forever. But now we can put our beautiful, look how gorgeous this filling is. Honestly, I feel like the birthday Oreos did all the work for me and I just like added a few extra sprinkles, but we are putting the filling. Now in the video I watched for this, like the girl was very lip, or she was very like conservative with the uh, filling, but I am a piece of garbage. So I'm just gonna like, put a lot. I just don't want it to like bust out the sides, which it probably will. I guess we'll learn along the way. Here we go. Okay, so you put this on this and then you like squeeze the sides together. It's like a little cake that explodes in your mouth. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? If you're putting that down, I'll oh, pick it up. cool. It's kind of cute. It's not perfectly round. I feel like I should have added more milk to my mixture, but we can't be winners all the time. You also added an egg and you said there was no egg. I don't always keep my promises. Okay, this is too much, do you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Pressing it together. This is the most recently baked one. I just wanted to see if it like adheres better. It's so cute. Look at it, it's like a little turtle shell. Gorgeous. I can't believe all of this work and I only get three. I should have made six. Hey, it's one for you, one for me, one for Deeg. No, Deagle's not having any. Oh yeah. Two for me. Yeah, maybe half of one for me. It's so funny how this is like not made from scratch at all, but like it feels so gourmet. It's like, check out my gourmet cooking. I feel like if you were hosting guests and you had these on a plate and people took a bite, they'd be like, this girl is cracked. Like this girl is insane. <laughs> I'm gonna cut one in half. Uh-oh. I mean, that's kind of fun. Hmm, sounds like a pancake. Yeah, it kind of is a pancake. Look how beautiful. Kind of wish there was more filling, but whatever. Oh. Oh. Dump it like a dunkaroo. This actually is like dunkaroo frosting right here. If you want to dunk it, I kind of mm. want to dunk it. I know it's so good. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. We did it. So amazing. Would so you do amazing. it again? Yeah. Guys, look at this one. I should have filled them all like this. Look how beautiful it is. It is so stuffed. I can't eat it now, I have to save it for dessert. The bottom one's really bad, but the top one is like very perfect. So I didn't cut it. Close up, stupid. Huh, it's so pretty and it tastes so good. Yeah, we did it. We did it, Deagle. We did it. Uh oh, you let your stick out of your bowl. He's a mess. I have to go tend to Deagle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Try it out, actually, try it. It's really good. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.